Hi there, I'm going to show you how to create this flyer and also at the end show you how to create these different iterations of the same flyer. Stay tuned. So you go to file and then we create a new canvas and I'm going to keep my width at 20, my height at 20 and I'll keep my resolution at 100. I'm going to click OK. So what we're going to do is to first of all bring in our background image. So I'm going to go to my background image and I'm going to just click and drag it onto our new layer. And I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to use go to edit, transform, scale. And I'm just going to scale to go to image adjustment curves. Add a new layer and I'm going to pick a color of my choice. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to pick up my bucket and I'm just going to make sure I have my layer selected and I'm going to apply it. Go to my opacity decrease. So I'm going to type in my theme text, select my text tool. I'm going to select and I'm going to go to character and reduce the distance between my text. I'm going to bring in my logo. I'm going to click on this. I've already um, cropped this out already. And I think I want to take the scale down just a little. And now I'm going to add a few more texts. And now what I want to do is to make a copy of our background street. So I'm going to right click and make a copy of that. And I'm going to just move it all the way up and I'm going to scale it. So I'm just going to shrink it down to align with this. I'm going to double click. I'm going to move it. And I'm just going to use my eraser. I'm just going to erase it off just a little to give it that fading effect. The idea is to make uh, a cross. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to the image that I just cropped. I'm going to make a copy of that and I'm going to move that and I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to rotate. So following the perspective, I'm going to use my marquee tool. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a duplicate of that and I'm going to reverse it by flipping it and I'm going to move it to the other side. Drag in this shape and you can get this online or you can make it yourself. I'm going to drag this in and I'm going to scale it. I'm going to scale it by holding down my shift. I'm going to double click, move it down a little, and I'm going to use my paint bucket to change the color to this blue. And I'm going to move it down. I'm going to add a text. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a duplicate of this text and I'm just going to move it down. I'm going to change it. 
I'm going to add a few more text. And I'm going to just move it in the middle. Collapse that. You might have to do a few tweaking to get the desired effect. So I'm going to move this down and also move that down. I'm going to select um, an existing text and I'm just going to drag it down. And I am going to change this with my address. I already have it copied, so I'm just going to paste the address. And I'm just going to move this to center it. I think I like the way it looks. I'm going to move um, my information down a little. The last thing we're going to do is to add a long shadow effect. So I'm going to select my, I'm going to right click and then create a raster image. And I am going to make a duplicate of that. And that one, I am going to make that black. I'm going to zoom up. I'm, I'm going to take it up so it's above. And now what I'm going to do is to press Control T to activate my transform. And I'm going to change the scale here. I'm going to take it up to a negative 45. With my layer selected, I'm going to press Alt with my down arrow. And it's going to make multiple and as you can see, if I release, you see multiple layers have been created for me. I am going to select all the layers and I'm going to match it. I'm going to make another duplicate by pressing my Alt and my down arrow. And I'm going to move this duplicate down to align. And I'm just going to match these two. And I'm going to repeat the same process again. And I'm going to add just one more Alt and my down arrow. And I'm just going to move it down. And I'm going to match both. And I'm going to press Control T and then change my angle back to 45. I'm going to move this and then I'm going to reduce the opacity. I'm going to take it all the way down. I'm going to double click. And now what I want to do is to give it a gradient effect. So the simplest way to do that is to use my eraser tool. And I'm just going to erase the bottom of this. And I'm going to reduce this a little bit more so it's not so strong, but yes, still we can see it. And I'm going to repeat the same process also for the other word. What I want to do, I think I want to reduce the size of my address just a little so it doesn't compete with the date. So the date also stands out. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to group it. What I'm going to do now is to create one file which contains all the different layers as a finish design. So what you can do is press Shift. Control Alt E, and that will generate a final image for you. So even if we turn off the group, you can still see that we have a final image, which is just one file. I'm just going to press Control Z to go back. So what you can do to change your end product is to simply go to your image and then go to adjustments. And we are going to choose the hue saturation. And what I'm going to do with that, 
I'm just going to move my sliders. And as I move it, you see that it even begins to give a different effect and some richness to my flyer. So before I do that, I'm going to create a copy so we can see the different iterations. So I'm going to select, um, so I'm going to name this final one. I'm going to name this alt one, alternative one. And I'm going to click on this. And this time I'm going to go to image adjustment and I'm going to choose hue. And I'm going to just change my slider. I'm going to move it. And as I move it, you begin to see that the entire text, the entire flyer begins to change. It picks up a different background and a different color in its entirety. So you can even achieve this. This can be one option for you. And I can have a third option. So I can click on this one and then go back to my adjustment hue and then change it so I get this uh, color. So as you can see, there's so much that you can do uh, to the final flyer or the image that you produce. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful and it's something that you are going to use in your creative design. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you taking the time to go through my tutorial. Bye.